specialist. Here he drives well this time to the edge of the penalty area. Eckers of space and super well that strike was good but not on target. Not too far away from Afiz Aremu. Afiz Aremu, this is a well worked training move. He find you find he played the ball all the way. 25 yards from goal. Aremu, Aremu Afiz decided to have a go at goal. Unfortunately, it wasn't well done. But Topong Efion with a throw for Aqua United. Ball played back. Aremu Afiz heads back to his captain. But instead, the ball goes forward. It's a well, that's a backheader. It is Piagwara. The chance opening up now. Can that be struck? And then that was not far away. A great, great strike. That was from Aremu Afiz. Wonderful strike. They really are very dangerous when they shift this ball into those attacking areas. Well, I haven't considered a goal. Trying to eke out an opening. That was Ebier Moses dropping the ball for an unrushing Afiz Aremu who had a goal. Well, it was low, but it was not well directed, thereby giving the veteran John Gardy some respite in goal. That otherwise would just have been the third goal for home team. Talking about early when it comes to long punts. Well, Ebier was dispossessed of the ball. That's a long rangey kid. That's him there being dispossessed. Now that's how to go about it. Unsettle him. But a free kick. It is a funny. He takes a shortish run. And the ball played forward. Well, that evaded everybody. Looked very dangerous. Yes, Afiz says that was uh, a good idea. But a plateau body got the final touch. And corner kick it is. A well worked, a well worked training ground move it was. If I, if I sidestepped that ball, and it was an all rushing Afiz. Good sides. Finally, a calm head takes the ball, and um, Afiz was fouled, and uh, Asango gets a yellow. That's the third yellow card to Plateau United. Well, joins uh, the likes of Joshua Baje and Kabiru Uma in the referee's book. As we watch that again on playback, Afiz going on a marauding run, but then unsportsmanly conduct there by Philip Azango, who hauled him down. In of the side, should have made a pass instead as Saka took the ball away from him. Saka now passes the ball to a player in orange. Simply cuts his own name to Ariwa. Chip looking for Piagbara. Good one, Piagbara takes. That should be fine, fine as attacking this. Oh, surely, expect to see him when they have a free kick. Good football from Aqua United. The build up is great, exactly what was on his mind. And so he decoded that uh, idea very quickly. Aqua United. Free kick taken. Headed into corner for Sunshine Stars. I've not really seen Samad Kajri so effective in this game. Perhaps in fact, the fact that Emmanuel Ariwan goes by Goodyear, the central defense partnership of Aqua Ebon have been Aqua. After they were relegated to the lower division. Tobong. Very good. Back football they have played. They've been very mobile. Autobahn Friday again doing a great job there. It's been fantastic in that the right side of the park. I think I see the excitement or the face of this Aqua United fan. That fan couldn't hold it back. He seemed to from where he is staying. He wants to rule it. But then Afiz Aremu it was who was brought down on that occasion. The delectable skills there on the part of that. Sikiru Alimi. It was who hacked him down. Sikiru should be careful. And delectable football by Aqua United also. Tobang. Oh, good football. Good football there. The tenacity of ABA Moses. It's really good that time. It was a. That's not a ABA Moses. Your pardon. 
Hafiz Aremuit was, who was being held by Ayos Saka on that occasion. The captain of the side doing a captain's job, stopping Aqua United from uh, getting the fourth. As pushing there, the referee says a play on but only goal kick now. All the way and stood in front of him. As you see the final change. Here yeah, Moses has the ball. Brings it out. Afiz Aremu takes a shot. Brilliant shot that turned out to be in the air. Drisa Bamba parried that. Now he's beginning to take a turn as Afiz Aremu's shot. Pile driver was parried by a kick. Now, now that's more like it from the promise keepers. They actually starting with Friday about cutting in from the left wing, driving across the box, and setting up Afiz Arim for a very, very good shot and a decent save from Al the final third. Al Hassan passing the ball to Ubong and Afiz with a wonderful shot. Brilliant technique to cover that pass, but his technique is shooting for Drisa Bamba, but it's a wonderful build up there. As you see, Al Hassan treading the ball there to Ubong Friday, who in turn laid it for Afiz Arim. The problem I have with Aqua United today is their inability, almost a refusal for them to get the ball on target. They should, even though Aqua United huffed and puffed in the first half and really couldn't blow the goal, the, the door down, they managed to get a deserved equalizer in the second half. But then, as well, credit must be given, full credit must be given to Ifayin Uba for a team that has performed so woefully on, the, on their travels to defend so, so heartily and with, with, so doubtfully and with so much heart. You know, so professionally, so...